I'm going to show you real quick how to make a stencil or a mask using your Silhouette Cameo. I have the Silhouette Studio software program open and my mat is set to a 12 by 12 mat. I am going to navigate to the folder where my files are and I'm going to change the drop down menu next to file, file, file types to all files so I can see everything in the folder. And I'm going to click on the shape that I want to cut and click OK. And now it has pulled the shape onto my mat. One of the benefits of cutting your own stencils is that you can uh, resize them, however big or small you need them for your project. So I just drew a box around the shape to select it, and I'm going to hold the Shift key so, while I resize so that it keeps the shape uh, in the same proportion, and you can make them really big or really small. And in my project, you'll see that I actually used a smaller version of this, but I'm going to keep it bigger so that you guys can see um, the cut lines easier. Once you have this shape where you want it and um, the size that you want it, you are going to come up to open the trace window button and click on it. And you're going to click on select the trace area. And that turns your cursor into a crosshair. And you draw a box around your shape and then you see some of the lines have been highlighted in yellow but we actually want the whole thing highlighted in yellow because we want to cut, make sure that we're only cutting um, in the empty areas on the stencil so I've unchecked high pass filter and I've changed the threshold to 100 and because we have both inside and outside lines I'm going to use the first trace option and trace everything and now if you pull the original shape away, you'll see the red lines where the silhouette will cut your paper. And since we are not going to print, we actually don't need the original shape, so we can just delete it. So now your cutting file is ready to go, and you can send it to your silhouette cutting machine, and it will cut around all these red lines, and you'll be left with the stencil of the honeycomb for your scrapbooking project.